So the Engineering of Birds is a course uh, that's something we call a freshman, uh, a service learning freshman seminar. And so there's really two things going on here. Freshman seminars are set up so that they're a small learning group. Um, in the core MIT freshman year, the students mostly are in much larger lecture courses with, say, 200 students in a lecture. And the seminars are set up to be in a smaller group. There's at most eight students, and typically I have half a dozen students in the seminar. I've done it for a few years now. Um, so one, one goal is to have a smaller group of students and for them to get to know a faculty member at a bit more personal level. Uh, the other thing we do is we try to do, do some community service project. So we've done uh, several of these freshman seminars. They've, they've been on different topics each year. But uh, what we do is, is we do a, a service project for the Boston Nature Center, which is run by the Massachusetts Audubon Society. And me personally, I love natural history. I love trees and plants and birds and all this stuff. So every year when I choose a topic, I, I just pick something that I'm interested in and I know a little bit about from an engineering point of view. And we, we develop educational displays and give them to the Nature Center um, at the end of the year. So that, that's kind of the, um, the overview of what we're trying to do. Uh, in particular, the, the one we did this last fall on the engineering of birds, we developed a number of PowerPoint presentations. So one was on bird nests, and one was on how birds fly, and one was on bird migration. Uh, so, so they were on different topics that had some kind of engineering content to them. And the idea is that the students learn some engineering principles while they're putting together some community service project. So <clears throat> what we do in the course is the first time we meet, we meet here at MIT, and I just describe what the topic is that we're going to be discussing. So this past year it was birds. Um, and then the second week, we, we meet once a week, um, and the second week uh, we went out to the Nature Center and we met with the people there. We talked to them about what they would like us to do and what the sorts of things that we were thinking of doing. So we had a, a meeting with the people there. We looked around the Nature Center. Uh, we've done this the last couple of years and we looked at the projects from the previous years so the students this year could kind of see what we've done in the past. So we usually have some of these field trips and you know depending on what the project is we, we do different field trips. Um, and then we come back to MIT and we have, you know, the next week we usually discuss what the projects are going to be and I assign the students into groups. So typically they do it in pairs. So we might have three pairs of students do three projects. And then I try to give them some material, some background material and information and then they, they put together some sort of a poster or this year it was a PowerPoint presentation. And they have a couple of weeks to work on it, and then they bring it back, and we have a session where we, we kind of, everybody kind of critiques the, what people have got so far, and then they go away and they work on it, on it again. And then by the end of the term, they've got something pretty much put together, and I, I sort of help them edit it at the end of the term. So, so it's a combination of um, getting to go out and do some field trips and then putting together some educational displays. And I try to explain engineering principles that they need to, to make their displays uh, put their displays together. So the, the way this course fits into the curriculum is that it's really set up for freshmen and it's part of the freshman year. Uh, so it, it, it sort of a, uh, it sort of complements the more hardcore you know, physics and chemistry and math that the students are taking. But in, a, in, in another sense it's a way of, of sort of showing freshman students something about the materials department. And so it's a way to introduce students to this department. And I find almost every year I do it, at least one or two of the students ends up majoring in material science and engineering. I mean, one of the things I find is that when freshmen come to MIT, you know, they're all excited. It's MIT. It's engineering and science. This is great. Um, but they don't really have a good idea about what the different types of engineering do. So during their freshman year, they all take a common core. And then towards the end of the spring term, they have to choose a major. And a lot of them don't really know what material science and engineering is or what chemical engineering is or what mechanical engineering is. And this gives them kind of a taste of what material scientists do. And I think they find that, that quite useful. So, so this course is taught in such a way that every year we, we do a different topic and we produce different displays for the Nature Center and for the Science Museum. And the way it really started was I got an email from somebody in the Public Service Center saying, would I like to teach a service learning freshman seminar? And I had done freshman seminars before, but more in a just a seminar format. Um, and I hadn't really done the service learning component. And so I, th I had to kind of think about, well, what would that actually mean? I mean, I, my, my background's in mechanics, which is kind of hardcore equations and you know doing experiments. It wasn't obvious to me at first how I was going to make a service learning piece of this. 
but as I said, I, I do love nature stuff. I go bird watching and you know, I like to go walking in the woods, that kind of stuff. Um, and so I knew that the Mass Audubon was opening a new nature center, and in fact, it's just down the street from where I live. It's, it's very close to where I live. And I had sort of gone to talk to the people there just to kind of find out about what they were doing. And uh, I talked to my partner, and we were, you know, we were thinking about what I could do. She's actually involved with service learning at the Harvard Medical School. And, uh, and she suggested, you know, you could, you could do some educational things on this nature stuff that you do your research on. So the, the idea behind service learning is to teach students some academic subject, but to incorporate a com community service aspect into it. And there's various ways that people do this. And what we've been doing is developing these educational projects for the Nature Center and for the Science Museum. But one of the nice features that I've found about it is it, it's a way of engaging the students. It's a way of sort of giving them a project, and it's not just a made-up project of something that I said, you know, go away and do this. It's something that they feel somebody's actually going to make use of. It actually makes a difference to somebody. And one of the things I find is, is by the end of the term, uh, it's sort of a win-win-win situation. You know, I, I get a big kick out of it just because I like doing these things. But the students feel they've actually made something, they've actually created something, and they've given it to the Nature Center or the Science Museum, and, and they're going to make use of it. And then the Nature Center and the Science Museum feel like, you know, just out of the blue, we've dropped in and, and done something for them that they can use with school groups or with, you know, groups that come through their facilities. So it's a really nice, um, a nice combination of, of sort of giving the students, sort of motivating the students and giving them a, a concrete thing to work on that somebody else is going to use and then trying to benefit some group in the community as well. So I've, I've enjoyed doing it uh, for that reason.